Hello, welcome back to Living History with Ted Goldsboro. And our guests today, Letha Insel Cohen and Marlene Bronstein Dubin. Did I get it right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> ah, good. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> uh, we were talking about uh, Ballakinwood Junior High School back in 1955, and we have a picture of the cafeteria. I guess it was taken from the uh, uh, auditorium, auditorium, taken from the balcony. And we all agreed that it's not really changed very much. It was not only a welcoming auditorium, but the curriculum encouraged everybody to do something where they would have to perform. Um, I was in the eighth grade and ninth shows. grade choir. We mm -hmm. had talent, talent shows. shows. Mm -hmm. I remember I doing the Charleston. You did. I played show. piano. Yeah. Oh. Um, but we had all kinds of activities, not only going to see interesting programs, but, but we were all encouraged to participate. Yes, yes. And, and that, you had that to play. Well, we had oh, plays every year. Dragon, right, which we'll get right, to. right. Yes, Was yes. that an activity fund? Was that to raise money? I think it was to raise money. And they charged know. about... 35 cents. I, whatever. <laughs> it was, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But the yeah. auditorium has been refurbished the same way and it's same just way. as welcoming yes. and it's very sophisticated for the mm -hmm. times. Yes. I mean it's you There's never a you didn't carry on in there. No. It was hey. quiet. Oh, no. We walked in. Yeah. We Quietly. walked through yes. the halls. In we rows. walked in. Yes. In rows and we had assigned seats, was there. graduation. Yeah. Uh, parents were always invited to mm -hmm. to different yeah. programs. It was just you really felt a sense of theater mm -hmm. in there. Absolutely. It was very exciting. It was very special. And on the back wall, which you can't see here because I think there's a curtain across. Right. Yeah. There was an accordion door that opened to the girls' the gym. gym. Yes. Right. Yes. And so on that they have junior high night, you'd open those, and the whole ninth grade could sit on bleachers. Right. Right. Now they have risers for all of the uh, lower grades and all the mm. concert performances mm. that mm. fit in there. Mm. They, oh, they've done it very right. well, and that's they bring right. the stage out. Uh, for different choirs and choruses. Well, yeah. Oh, they, that's right. To put risers down in the orchestra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And different yeah. We had an orchestra. Okay. Right, we, we had did an have an orchestra. orchestra. Right, right. Uh, speaking of the orchestra, oh. uh, the <laughs> alma mater. <laughs> sing for us, yeah. Yeah. I forget. <laughs> <laughs> and Herman Giersch, Fail. I think, wrote that, I believe. Does it oh, say yes. somewhere on Herman here? Herman Giersch, Giersch. right, okay. he wrote it. Um, okay. Okay. Here we go. Start, Lita. We honor Balakin with our noble junior high. With loyal hearts we sing his praises to, to the sky. Oh, gosh. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> right. Thank you. You'll get Thank it. You. I don't think, I could be mistaken, but I don't think, I think they students sing, sing no. alma maters no. anymore. No. No. Even at Lower Marion. Not a graduation. Mm -hmm. I, don't no, think I don't so. think so. Okay, but the last line: we pr with pride we pledge allegiance to the glorious red, red and gray. And gray. <laughs> but isn't and it here you go. The colors. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, cafeteria. Uh, the cafeteria was up on the second floor, third floor above the so office. So institutional right. now, doesn't it? And it's not there now. That's classrooms. And it was time. it wasn't a really friendly place, as no, I recall. It was just long mm. rows because of tables. Because long rows of tables. Um, we had to be quiet. I yeah. mean, we, oh. we were allowed to talk, yeah. oh. but we couldn't holler and scream. Okay. And, Which was um, proper. Proper. Yeah. I mean, yeah, but yeah. it wasn't a loose it wasn't atmosphere. A, a relaxed. No, yeah. okay. no, not yeah. at all. Okay. No. no. I'm and sure it's And the teachers watched us. Too. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It was patrolled. And I think at yeah. the end, I think each table had a dustpan and a, what do you mm -hmm. call it, a broom. That I don't remember. What I we had to clean up. up. Oh, we had to clean up. But I do remember. We didn't have cafeteria duty there. I think that was in grammar school. But I remember no. a lot of kids wore braces and retainers, mm -hmm. and that was the biggest problem. They would throw them oh. away. Oh. They would dump their <laughs> their trash in the trash can, Ooh. and there would go the braces Ooh. or the re you know. The but I have to say that I, when I see this, I think of the Lower Marion High School cafeteria, mm -hmm. and there was a a big petition circulated, which the administration finally accepted to. Uh, have a small area outside so that the kids could, could go outside. out and smoke. Yeah. Oh, that was and the smoke, smoke. but everybody yeah. knew the smoke. And you knew who smoked. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure nice. they don't have that they anymore. They don't have that anymore. <laughs> now, this is the another gym. area that is not there anymore. This is the really? large gym, the boys' gym. The boys' gym, gym yeah. as opposed to the, the girls', girls gym, gym. Which was right. small. But and we had dances in the girls' gym. Okay. okay. Friday nights. The social. There was a social. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Girls Keenan, gym? 
Yeah, that was in the girls' mm. gym. I, I remember. You get in, you go stage. to the right. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, and they had once a month to teach us manners. Mm. Yeah. And we had to dress mm. up. We dressed mm. up, parents chaperoned. Play, yeah. taught, taught us how to dance, yeah, you know, square dance holding call, on or know, square dance, yeah. a foxtrot. Oh, foxtrot. Uh -huh. But, you know, th this gym just speaks of Lower Merion being a community. Uh, because I remember, I guess I was just married, and the uh, uh, Sabin oral vaccine. Um, oh. For polio. We, yes. For polio. And we came there? to the Lower Merion oh. gym, oh. and it was just open for mm -hmm. the community. Mm -hmm. Wow. And that's where I it, remember it was getting mine at the Free of school. charge. Okay. Yeah. I got mine at Lower Marin High School in the cafeteria. Yeah. Yeah. That's oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and the whole community came out and everybody knew everybody. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that I don't remember mm -hmm. at all. Well, I'm surprised but that this uh, space, which is near the Lower Marin Academy, the front yeah, bus circle, right. make it was into? turned into two levels of classrooms. Really? Two levels. And they oh, right. take it's a tour. We have to take yeah. a tour. And they, yeah. they yeah. moved yeah. the new large gym down with the cafeteria off oh, Manny oh, Road, the open down space closer was, where yeah. Home Ec later became. Do they still have Home Ec? I doubt it. Did we I have don't lockers? Know. I don't know. I yes, know you had, had, you had, you had all lockers. lockers. Yes. They were down And we had to say the pledge every day. Yes, and, and the Bible reading. The Bible reading. Yep. Yeah. Don't think they do yeah. Old and New Testament. And we had to take showers after girls' gym. Yeah, so yes, that was embarrassing. That was, that was very Terrible. embarrassing. Yeah. It was in a, a, a U shape, shoe. a horseshoe, mm -hmm. and you had to run through naked. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> not was good not, for junior high school girls. Right. No. Right. <laughs> I don't think they do that anymore. <laughs> Mr. Kirkpatrick. Uh, yeah, tell right. who the, to those, well, well, at least we know we one know person. <laughs> B.B. Butin, that we were told, although I don't recognize him I'm not that sure. Picture. No, I, I don't it does think not so. look like But B. Mr. Kirkpatrick we yeah. recognize, and his daughter still lives in the he area. He was the principal. Yes. He was, he was the, the principal. He uh -huh. ran a very tight, tight ship. Uh -huh. tight really, ship. yeah. Very tight ship. But we ship. respected him. We did. I mean, mm -hmm. I don't remember any, I mean, that's just the way things were. Mm -hmm. It's like yeah. you listen to your parents, you listen to the principal. And that's why our parents moved to Laura Marion to get good education. Right, right, right. I mean, there were rules, and we all followed them. You can see the dress with the turned down socks and the right. lighters, <laughs> and, and a little boy in the jacket. Yeah. But um, there were there was not a lot of discipline because we knew what the you rules behaved. were. And we but when you mm -hmm. walk through through the halls, couldn't you gum? No, no gum chewing, mm -hmm. and you could talk. But softly, mm -hmm. right. no shouting, yeah. no running. It was decorum. Um, mm -hmm. it, it was now in days rules. when we had like the Halloween parade, and that yeah, we're sort of allowed to yeah that let loose, mm -hmm. you yeah. know. Yeah. 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 So there we were had rules. fun days. We had yeah. fun and things. never get sent to the office. Oh no, no, no. Mm -hmm. or yeah. detention. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh my goodness. Your your pictures. Oh, oh that's funny. Marlene Bronstein. Yes, of course. Yes, that is so funny. Friendliness, sense of humor. And that's <laughs> from a book called The, oh, the Lance, Lance and Shield. Shield. Yes, yeah. which right. I think we worked on, didn't we? Or did they? I'm yeah, I was a um, oh, on the yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. So we here. took part, right, yeah, mm -hmm. we took part in doing all of that and writing, you know. Mm -hmm. I forget if we wrote our own comments or people wrote about us. I forget how oh, that worked. I think the staff wrote The staff wrote them. Oh, the really? Kids. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. well, yeah. then it's much more flattering yeah. that we didn't yeah. do it. <laughs> 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 we didn't do our own. Right. Yeah. We yeah. did not yeah. do yeah. our yeah. own. That's and I oh, this Marlene, was. Marlene, I put that in because oh. I presume you drew yes. that. You painted that. This was that. for a Christmas show or oh. a Christmas card. Uh -huh. uh, I don't know if it was a poster that hung in the hall. Mm. But uh, I probably grade? in ninth grade, oh. eighth or ninth grade, and I'm, I probably copied it from something and blew it up. Mm -hmm. But I still have it hanging oh. in my house. <laughs> and you were kind enough to let me. <laughs> yes, it's so share funny. It. Oh, and here's Lita. Right, Lita. and it said I, my favorite subject was Latin, which would help if I continue to want to study oh. law. Yeah. And so it you just knew came then. You were right I knew then. Did mine say anything about art? That's interesting. Yeah, I was wondering I about was wondering that. I wanted to check I, that. I looked. Yeah, what did um, it say? Okay, so well, I will read. Okay. Uh, friendliness, sense of humor, and a winning personality. These are a few of the fine qualities that Marlene possesses. She was a wonderful student, making the honor roll every time. Mar also earned her sports shield, so oh, he did have there. sports. I wonder what she was a versatile <laughs> member of the highlight staff, which oh, was okay. the, that was the newspaper. newspaper. That yeah. was yeah. the newspaper. Yeah. Okay. And Lita right. is happiness and friendliness contributed to Lita's sparkling personality. An honor student, she found time to work on the Lance and Shield and sang in Beautiful. senior 
chorus and choir. That's Lead why we were able yes, to sing. Yeah. <laughs> yes, very good, very good. Okay, and here's the Lance and Shield. Yeah, the, yeah, I just put in because the the oh, shield, Patrick, like the, right. the knight, the, the Balakin knights, would knight, yeah. knight they have that's shields. Yeah, I wonder why we had the artist in our year of grad. Uh, yeah. Maybe that's you. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I don't know, but yeah. it's interesting. Oh, this is cute. Okay. And then this I just put in a few the, groups of people. Yeah. This is the Lance and Shield, oh and I goodness. guess one of you is in there. Well, I recognize a lot of people, but again, look at the dress, the long skirt. Right, absolutely, below the knee. Yes, and then yeah. the socks almost yeah. coming up to meet the skirt. Right, Boys, and the saddle uh, shoes. The right. boys all had to get dressed up, I and remember, for the picture. Right, mm -hmm. ties and, and jackets. And we all looked very young, but I recognize. <laughs> I think we were. Yeah. Sure. Oh, you. Nancy. Oh, he, uh, I'm here. There's Lita. Okay, yeah. Was... Yeah, Lita. There's Nancy. Nancy. I just spoke to her the other day. Yeah, Sue Graybov. Oh, my goodness. Uh, the Jenner this twins. Is, yeah, she passed away. Yeah. Mm. Sad. Oh, um, Betsy Ferguson. Dale right. Penny's Levy. And it's interesting oh, because all Elvis? these people still live here. Yeah, Betsy. Mm. Everybody. I see a lot yeah. of them in the neighborhood still, which Lena is very nice. And Marlene, why do we still live here? You know a better place? There is yeah. a Yeah, that's it. That's it. We love it. Good There's schools, just, we love nice housing. It takes me 11 to minutes city. to get from my house in Marion to my husband's office at 20th and mm -hmm. Market. There you go. You, so you can't we beat are. It. Schools are great. Right. People often ask me when I'm in other cities, how can so yeah. many Philadelphians settle there? <laughs> yeah. You can't do it's better. <laughs> it's it's no and not only place. settle here, but we settle take this back. within a five mile radius. Right. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. My yeah. whole life was in a five mile From the place I was born in Philadelphia, I could oh, walk it. Yeah. Right. And now my children. Now, are ladies, also would in you this. believe that our time is up? <laughs> Again. Oh, yeah, oh. yeah, okay. Oh. Oh. Uh, this is Ted Goldsboro. We're. Signing off with Living History with Lita Enzel Cohen and Marlene Bronstein Dubin. And thank you for joining us, and we'll hope to have another program on Malakinwood 1955.